Hello everyone. The last session we discussed about introduction of the state space analysis. What is the state and how to find out the state variables from the given circuit. In this session we will discuss standard form of the state model. How to make the standard form by using the state model. Here the standard form is like this. The form is x dot equal to ax plus bu ax plus bu y equal to cx plus du so this is the this is this is the standard form of the state model so in order to design you any state model it is the standard form so generally this x dot x dot means you know that that is the state equation it gives the state equation so what is the present situation of the system which will given by the system or we can call it as the dynamic equation we can call it as the dynamic equation what is y generally y is the representation you know this is the output equation this is the general formula that will give the output equation so the combination of state equation or dynamic equation and the output equation is nothing but the it will give standard form of the state model which will give the standard form of the state model so in this we will write each and everything so here what is x dot what is x dot so we should define the x dot x dot is nothing but differential state vector we can call it as the differential state vector And what about A? A? A is the state matrix. So the state of the system will be represented by the matrix. That's why it is called the state matrix. And the what about B? What about B? B is input matrix generally. B is input matrix. So input have some matrix that is the input matrix what about u u is the input vector u is the input vector just keep your mind in this generally up to now we discussed about some input is x output is y but here the different we are giving input is always u we will collect for the system output is always y and state of the system will given by the x okay don't confuse here x will represent the state of the system and next what is y output vector y is output vector and what about c c is name itself it is the output matrix c is the output matrix and what about D? D is transition matrix. D is the transition matrix. So these are the different different terms. So we will understand each and everything. Simply x dot is a differential state vector. That means it will give some vector. So what is A? State matrix. It will give the state matrix. What is X? It is the input matrix. What about B? B is the input matrix. What about U? U is the input vector. Okay. Y is the output vector. C is the output vector. D is the transition matrix. So each and every term we will discuss deeply in the upcoming videos. So first we understand what type of system we are consider here. Generally here we are considering a system is like this. The system is we have I will consider one system the system is like this so that system we can call it as MIMO what is meaning of MIMO MIMO is nothing but multi input multi output system multi input that means it consisting of multi inputs and it consisting of multi outputs of the system so for this we have the u1 is the one input 
and u2 is the another input and we have um um is the another input so that means it consisting of the m inputs so the system have m inputs and it will generate the outputs as like this this is the y1 output and this is the y2 output and it will generate up to up to p yp that means it consisting of the m inputs and these give this will give the p number of outputs it will give the p number of outputs and here here so we will just modify it just increasing all right here and the state system of the state is represented by three these elements what are the elements we have x1 and x2 and the xn so x1 and x2 n r represents the state of the system these are called n state variables n state variables how it acts whenever if you are giving the u1 is the input it will gives the y1 is the output the state of the system is represented by the x1 if you are giving the u2 input it will give the y2 output the state is represented by this x2 and if you are giving the um it will give the yp it will represent by the xn like that okay so by using that we will again write the the form we will again write the form the form is so x dot is a vector that vector so if you are considering the x dot is a vector look at here it has n number of variables so that's why it has n rows one column and we have the state matrix that is the a it is consisting of n rows and n columns and next we have the system x x is the system it has x means it gives state state or state variables how many state variables we have we have n number of state variables that is the vector what about b b is the transition matrix so that will be represented n number of state variables m number of inputs so it will take this is the n we we'll take the order of n and it will take the order of m so that's why n by m what about u u is the input input vector that means it has m inputs so it has m rows one column m rows and one column next what about output so output is represented by the some vector output is generally p number of output variables that's why it is the p into 1 so p rows and one column and next we have the c c output matrix that output matrix is depends on these we have m number of inputs so that is represented like this m number of inputs and n number of variables that will be decided by the n number of variables and you know the x x is the state transition matrix always n rows and one column and next d what is the d d is the transition matrix that is represented by the output and it will depends by the output and and the input output p and input m okay next what about u the u is the same u is the input input m by 1 input is the m by 1 so finally the these m, m number of inputs and p number of outputs and n number of state variables by using that the state the state model is represented in the matrix form or vector form so here x dot is depends on the state variables directly x x number of variables a is depends on the state variables that's why n by n x is depends on the again it's a state variable that, that is means n and 1 b is depends on the n and m 
state variables and the m inputs and u is depends on the m variables what about output output is nothing but it has the p number of elements what about c c is m by n this is the m by n x is n by n what about d d is p into m y equal to m by n so here by using this state model so it will generates in the vector form and matrix form so by using this vector form and matrix form we will solve the different different problems different different problems are solved so this is about the standard form of the state model so standard form of the state model is nothing but x dot equal to ax plus b u y equal to cx plus d u these are the different 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 vectors these are useful in analyzing the state model okay i hope all of you understand this session thank you